Alert. And more breaking news tonight in the Amber Alert for three year old Noah Claire. The search continues for the Gallatin boy, along with his father Jacob and cousin Amber. TBI has released new surveillance photos of the three in California. These were taken in San Clemente on November 11th. You can see Jake and the Amber Alert. We're going to show you those pictures. You can see them carrying large backpacks when you see those pictures. Agents say the Subaru Legacy they believe Jake was driving was impounded two days earlier or now, two days later. Now the TBI says that Jake bought that vehicle on Facebook Marketplace on October 30th. California has now put out an endangered child alert for Noah. Beaver Dam Kentucky Police have listed Amber as a missing endangered person. California Highway Patrol believe Jacob Claire to be armed and dangerous. And tonight, we are hearing for the first time from Jacob Clare's mother, who is pleading for her son to return home with her two grandchildren. News Force Courtney Allen sat down with her today in Bowling Green. And Courtney, how is she doing? Yeah, Marius Tracy, that is the very first question I asked Bonnie Kirpata, and she immediately broke down in tears. It's obvious that this is taking a toll on both sides of the family. Kirpata says Jake was the best dad to Noah up until this point, and she's begging him to do the right. I would say I love you. Because I love all my kids no matter what. But this isn't right. A mother's plea. I just need him to bring him home. It's tearing everybody apart. Bonnie Kirpata is Jake Claire's mom. I love my son. This was not the way. This was not the way. Because I love my grandbabies more. Kirpata says the past week and a half has been excruciating for the family. After police say Jake is believed to have taken off with her two grandchildren, three-year-old Noah and 16-year-old Amber. Do you have any indication, you know your son, of where they, where they could be? I thought I knew my son. <laughs> I have no idea. Kirpata says Jake was distraught about not having more time with Noah, his son. Noah's mother lives in Gallatin, and Kirpata says Jake has been trying to get overnight stays with Noah after only having day visits with him. A few months ago, Kirpata says Jake got a trailer and was then allowed to have Noah come stay every other weekend. Kirpata believes the alleged kidnapping was planned for some time. Before moving into the trailer, Kirpata says Jake was staying with his niece, Amber's family. Kirpata says there are concerns about Jake and Amber's relationship. There's been talk of inappropriateness. And of course, as a mama, I pray that's not true, but we don't know. And there were things that seemed inappropriate. Kirpata says she wants her grandchildren back. Amber and Noah are not old enough and mature enough to make a decision to live on the run, that's your choice, and it's not right. I love you, but you've got to bring the babies home. Now, other family members of Noah have said that Jake was suicidal and mentally unstable. Kirpata says to her knowledge, Jake was not. She says, in fact, he seemed happier than usual in the past two to three weeks. Back to you. Wow, very emotional, Courtney, thank you. We will continue to bring you the latest updates on this ongoing story. Download our free News 4 app to receive alerts as new information is released. Just, just search WSMV in your app store.